Hi, I'm Carl Tannenbaum, Chief Economist for Northern Trust. I'm about to violate two pieces of advice that I give to fellow professionals. Never speculate about a field that you know nothing about, and never do math in public. The pandemic remains the most important variable in the economic outlook. While not trained in epidemiology, many economists have learned enough to be dangerous. We quote viral reproduction rates as if we'd been doing so our whole lives. And we've even gone so far as to critique public health measures and the available vaccination options. But all of these things have a direct bearing on economic performance. COVID-19 has proven to be an especially hardy adversary. Case growth surged at the beginning of winter and has forced renewed lockdowns in many parts of the world. The restrictions are intended to arrest contagion and safeguard hospital capacity, but they will also impair commerce. Some countries are likely to experience a double-dip recession this spring. The longer the virus is allowed to roam freely, the more likely that mutation becomes. Already, a strain that transmits more readily has spread through Europe and the United States, and more deadly strains are reported to have arisen in other parts of the world. This adds to the urgency to immunize the population. Unfortunately, vaccination is off to a slow start in many places and hasn't started in others. Logistic challenges, insufficient supply, and a lack of funding for administration have impaired progress. Efforts are gaining steam, but there is a lot of ground and a lot of people to cover. Here's where the math kicks in. Scientists suggest that 80% to 90% of populations will need to be immune in order for the virus to essentially burn itself out. This is what many refer to as herd immunity. Those who have recovered from COVID-19 have natural resistance. The remainder will have to acquire resistance through a vaccine. Many of those who are infected by COVID-19 are asymptomatic and often go uncounted. So determining the level of natural immunity in a community is not easy. Inoculation has initially focused on the elderly, who suffer more severe cases, but whose restricted movement makes them much less likely to spread the disease. So setting a vaccination strategy requires some very complex calculations. Unfortunately, the vaccination equation is the most important one in any economic model right now, and if we don't get the numbers right, economic growth may not add up to expectations. And that's The View from here. 